Thickasaurs Podcast. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Thickasaurs Podcast, um, episode seventy nine. Nine. I am your host today, Melissa, and we got Michelle. And uh, girl, your mic's your mic's not on. Molly. No, it is. <laughs> oh, I know who I am anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this episode's my episode, and um, we're gonna do relationship slash dating advice. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum. We are not credible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought. It would be interesting to just read off of Reddit and see what they have to say and see what we have to say. Because we got, you know, two married people, people who've been dating for so long, (laughs) married to the love of their life. We got somebody who's in a relationship and me. (laughs) Single for life. Single and ready to mingle. (laughs) And me. So I think it would be a good... um, Broad, not broad, a good um, dash of experience between all of us. Mm-hmm. So I think it'd be fun. So, are you girls ready? <coughs> yeah, let's do let's, it. Let's dig into it. Okay. Okay, so this is on Reddit. This is under the dating advice. I'm guessing subreddit. I don't know how it works, but. Yes, most likely subreddit. Yes, okay. So this first one, the title is, Why Do I Want to Sleep With Him? The story. Because I'm human <laughs> and I got Because you horny. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. You horny. That's what it is. <laughs> it's, your, it's your animalistic side. Stop, girl. Mm-hmm. Sit down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, anyway, go ahead. Okay, story goes. <clears throat> I have recently gone on a date and hung out. Oh, I have recently gone on a date and hung out recently with a man I've known for years from going to the same music events. This man is not my usual type. And and to be honest... What? (laughs) That's how Molly feels when you know things. (laughs) This man is not my usual type, and to be honest, not. But he makes me laugh a lot, which makes me very attracted to him. I feel like my friends are judging me and are openly confused as to why I am entertaining this. I am super attracted to him. I have no idea why. And I like spending time with him. But is this short-term lust I'll regret? And is humor a big part of being with someone? Does it say how old she is? No. That would help us. (laughs) Have fun, bitch! (laughs) That's what I would say. There's I mean, <laughs> safely. It's probably, uh, I would say that it's probably a good change of pace for her. Mm-hmm. And she probably doesn't realize, she probably didn't realize that um, humor was an attractive uh, trait for mm-hmm. her. Mm-hmm. So when that happened and when she, when because when you're laughing, you feel good. And when you feel good, your uh, endorphins? Yeah, endorphins are going. So, of course, mm-hmm. you're going to find that person <clears throat> more attractive than you thought you would. Mm-hmm. And therefore, all that, you know, endorphins and stuff will, you know, trickle down. Down, you know. So, it's just kind of like, <clears throat> he makes you feel good. So, he might make you feel good in, uh, in other ways. You know, she's probably, mm-hmm. like I said, it's a change of pace. Um, so, it's kind of like the unknown. And that's probably why she feels like she wants to sleep with him. Because he's not her type. And she's kind of just uh, feeling adventurous, I guess you could say. Yeah. I mean, that's my thoughts, you know. Or cause she could be genuinely attracted to him um, in a sense of, you know, personality. And maybe he t- treats her nicely as well as being funny type thing. So. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> anybody else? Yeah, anybody else? Oh, well, Anna's is. <laughs> well, how? What was the what was the actual question? Because she was saying her title was "Why do I want to sleep with him?" Well, she asked another question too. And then at the end, she says, um, "I'm super attracted to him. I have no idea why, and I like mm. spending time with him. But is this short term lust I'll regret, or is oh, and is humor a big part of being with someone?" 
I say yes. Yes. So no. I mean, I think for us, our preference is humor. I mean, we don't want to be with someone that's like boring or at least not boring, but more of like if I'm trying to I'm OK. I hate to inflate my own ego. I'm funny. <laughs> OK. And you guys will agree that you guys yourself are funny. So to be with <laughs> someone that won't get your sense of humor. Yeah. It's kind of like. I'm not gonna do a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. really sad when you <coughs> share something funny and they're like, eh. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So, so, oh, yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say that, like, um, so it's important for humor. And then also, you know, I think depending on how old you are, mm-hmm. it's none of your friend's business anyway. <laughs> Whatever you do, you have fun. Yeah, who you're with. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know how old you are to kind of like where your friends would say that unless like they think that like he's not conventionally attractive, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then they're projecting their own things onto you. Mm -hmm. Because if you personally like how you feel, there's nothing wrong, especially if there's no red flags, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. because it doesn't have to be serious for you to look at the red flags. But I think that even when you're having fun, if there are no red flags and it's mostly green flags, it's like, just go enjoy yourself. It's yeah. fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I think she said, is this short term lust I'll regret? Or, or regret? That I'll, I will regret. That I, I will regret. regret. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing like, is, does she really like him or if, is this just lust? I, I feel like the way that she frames that question, you're still in your 20s. Mm-hmm. And I would say that just enjoy yourself because... Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to look back and be like, dang, I was really hard on myself trying to dissect everything. Just Mm -hmm. have fun. Mm -hmm. Do it in a safe way. And, you know, if you you got to like really take a dive and just enjoy everything, because in the end, if you really restrict yourself, then you're just going to be like, why did I beat myself up? You know, just Mm -hmm. I should have just enjoyed it. Not try to Mm -hmm. think like, oh, am I going to regret it? And then, like, you can never really prevent yourself from getting hurt. That's the thing about being human is you have to kind of just, you know, you got to take the gamble and then see what happens at the end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go with Mm -hmm. the flow. Feel the experience, you know, because it's like. Go with the flow. (laughs) Because if you spend your time, like, on the sideline, afraid to get your toes wet because you're afraid of getting hurt or being judged or whatever whatnot then you're gonna regret that later because you're kind of like oh i should have done this i should have done that type of thing so coming from you know married people is like do it (laughs) it's like do it because you will regret it later whether it's a good experience or a bad experience you're going to learn from it Mm, you will learn something Mm -hmm. coming from people who are old well, mm-hmm. we're considered mm-hmm. old to them <laughs> in the 20s. Just enjoy yourself, whether you're like and dating in your responsibly, 20s. Responsibly, by the way. Yes, of course. Always <laughs> responsibly and safely. Mm-hmm. Or whether you're just kind of just like Melissa, where you're just starting to date mm-hmm. too again. Because, mm-hmm. um, you know, 30s are the new 20s. Mm-hmm. Then just have fun. Really just enjoy yourself. Mm-hmm. Molly? 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 I don't know. I think they pretty much said everything. I don't see anything wrong for her trying it out. People don't think humor is a uh, an attractive thing, honestly. Mm-hmm. They don't think it's yeah. Most people don't because all they usually think about is physical traits. Mhm. 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 Any st- some kind of stimulation, man. Can't, don't get don't make me be the one talking the whole time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's kind of like like with this pandemic. It's kind of like when people finally had to sit with their significant other mm-hmm. and be like yeah. oh you know what you're not funny like <laughs> oh. like to me i'm like oh my god you're not funny like i can't live without humor or like dark humor you know <laughs> you know and it's kind of sad you know so it's like when everything when there's literally you can't go do anything like in the pandemic you know humor is all you can kind of fall back on to give you some type of happiness some type of joy yeah that's not ma- something that's not materialistic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah, and then I mean, like some people have like different types of humor too. Like for me and my boyfriend, we sometimes just pop in like some sexual humor every so often, mm-hmm. just because we are aware of that. 
sexual humor if you don't mind me asking like what is an example of that type of thing sexual um it's kind of <laughs> like se- what would you say sexual humor yeah yeah kind of oh. like it's just i think it's just between you to you and your spouse kind of thing like an inside joke like inside jokes that we do like all the time because oh. you know how like for us he calls my fupa a koopa kind of thing a koopa yes <laughs> and then because there's some times where he like he'll lay me on the bed and i'll literally sit i'll sit there and laugh because he, he i'm literally like a dog that is laying on the bed getting my belly rubbed <laughs> kind of <thing. laughs> and i'll sit there and laugh about it and i'm like babe you're making me look like a freaking dog getting pet uh ru- belly getting my belly Wait, rubbed. so but then is it your fupa fupa or is it your belly it's my belly it's just my lower belly and oh. i tell him that that's not where it is oh. but he just calls it the koopa oh. It's just a, a little, like, in, like you're just our it's own like, little inner it's comedy. <laughs> that reminded me of my sexual joke that I said. Because uh, I had gone to the dentist, and after doing the cleaning, the my dentist was like, okay, what do you want to do about your wisdom teeth? You have four of them back there, and two of them have cavities. So either we can fill them, or you can have all four of them pulled. You know, and he's like, I kind of want... I'm leaning towards uh, having them pulled because um, they are super crowding your teeth. And he was showing me my x-rays. And, yeah, my teeth were like, I know my teeth are super crowded mm-hmm. or whatever, you know. Because, like, I already had two, uh, four molars pulled before I put braces on back in high school because that's how crowded it was. Damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then my wisdom teeth came in, and they're just right back to where they started. Anyway, I was telling Chalice. I was texting, to him, texting him saying that um, what the dentist said and everything. And then uh, Child's like, dang, that's going to be a lot of money having your teeth taken out. I don't know if insurance covers that or not. Wisdom uh, teeth, it depends. If you it depends. Get, depends if you do sur- go and be put under for surgery or if they just pull it out. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, he was <laughs> he was playfully complaining about that. And I, was, and I said... I said, well, it's not my fault my mouth is so crowded. And then I said, in more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, Liam's mother. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, his, rea- his text reaction was so funny. <laughs> uh, oh, my so God, stupid. I'm blushing. Dirty, dirty, dirty girl. I know. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. He's like, oh my god, so nasty. <laughs> and I, was like, I was like, whatever you like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been like, stop blushing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you can't control it. <laughs> but yeah. oh, I want to know funny. how that is. I I do that to myself because he doesn't say it back <laughs> to me because he doesn't know how to. It's kind of awkward for him, yeah. so I just say it to myself. I say, yeah. <laughs> like, I'll say it. I'll say it, and I, then I will react to my own. I, I can see her grab the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, say, say, yeah, yeah. Man, you gotta love yourself. Yeah. You be like, yeah. like, look at them titties. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You be like, be like that's right. You be like, boop, boop. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you I be like, ooh, look at them titties. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're sitting real good. T- mm-hmm. That's because you um, ovulating. That's why they look good. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> if you so remember funny. back to Molly's episode, they ovulated, so they look good right now. They're sitting real good. Mm. Uh, poor Mike. He's just awkward and not as um, witty. It's okay though. I <laughs> sometimes he's speechless if I do it. That's why, because it's kind of <laughs> raunchy. So, but anyway, I was just asking for an example of that. So, okay, but well, yeah, there you go. just kind of like something like that. Yeah. <sighs> You know, I think, like, if she's attracted to him because he makes her laugh, you know, I don't think that's short-term lust. Because I feel like that wouldn't play into you being attracted to him. I feel like short-term lust would just be like, I just want to fuck you. It's like, you look like, good. Yeah, yeah, you look, look good and I want to fuck you. It's yeah. very physical. Mm-hmm. I feel very, like. um, like I said earlier, animalistic, very, the human urges only. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, um, not that much of an emotional connection. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But, like, if you are good-looking or, like, if you 
Yeah, if you're good looking and you make me laugh, hell yeah, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna hop on that. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm climbing on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With you know, some so, rope gear. Yeah, so I don't think this is a short term lust, honestly. Oh, you think she. Really I think you really do him. like you. Oh. Like, yeah, you really do like him. And it's probably just what Michelle said. It's probably just different than what, what she's used to. Normally she's used, used to. to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because society always makes it think like the type of like relationship that you should be in is not really like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But as coming from <laughs> old aunties, <laughs> um, the ones that really have a good impression on you are the ones that make you how, how they make you feel. Mm-hmm. Like if you look back at it and you kind of evaluate, oh, like th- I, the way I felt in this relationship or how I feel, this is really good. I like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are the mm-hmm. ones that are good. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you don't feel the butterflies? You don't feel this with this person? Girl, that the butterflies you are your <laughs> your thing, you thriving. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, well, I don't feel butterflies with him, or I don't feel anything with him. And I'm just kind of like, you know, I never really understood that either until I um, met one of my friends. And I'm like, you know... Honestly, it. You don't really feel the butterflies. All yeah, the it doesn't feel the butterflies. But if you are able to be yourself around that person, and if you're able to feel safe with that person, I feel like okay, yeah, maybe there is something deeper than just butterflies. You know, I saw this TikTok video. Sorry, I'm cutting. No, it's okay. You and they're saying, both. don't look at. They're saying. Um, so my response to you saying that is because mm-hmm. people always look for the firecracker and not for mm. um the fire place because mm-hmm. people are uh this oh this video i saw on yeah tiktok and they're like how do i know that it's the one the mm-hmm. one that's for me they're like well don't look for the firecracker look for your fireplace mm-hmm. oh yeah mm-hmm. and there's a clear difference between mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so maybe the butterflies and the like the is like the firecracker thing yeah. yeah. Like, oh my God, it's so explosive. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. Know? Oh my God. It's so passionate. Mm-hmm. Until, oh the, until the butterfly dies or there's no more fireworks. You're just, oh, yeah. Okay, so you bye. want yeah. you want the slow burn fireplace that will make you feel at home mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. is cozy and make you feel like you can be yourself yeah. around them. I think that's what, <clears throat> I think that's the butterfly feeling because you feel, you feel secure not really secure but you feel safe you can be yourself and it's just like an all-around warm good feeling when you're with this person Mm. so i think that's the butterfly feelings that people are talking about but they're thinking of like something totally uh, it's surface level i guess yeah i was like that's like that's i was like oh the butterfly having that butterfly (laughs) feeling is not really what i would would it would feel like technically i don't know i didn't have the butterflies like that so i don't know i have i have i don't never been with anybody else other than your brother but i can't did have the firecracker feeling in the beginning of our dating relationship Mm. a decade ago but um (laughs) i can see i can feel the difference between a firecracker and a fireplace moment you really Mm -hmm. do feel like yeah it feels inner warmth Mm -hmm. inside of you like you really do feel that way like you're safe with them Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep yeah and so i think that's what a lot of people are like judging it on like oh i don't feel firecrackers or i don't the butterflies so that means I don't like him. He's not the one for me because he's not making me feel the magic. Well, first of all, that's not the relationship you want. If you're waiting for them to make you feel, Mm -hmm. you have to see how you feel, you know, just in that moment, (laughs) not waiting for them to make you feel something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's another thing, too, where a lot of people are like, when, because like when, (laughs) when that, when this one stupid dude kept like pursuing me and I kept shooting him down and like finally, like the third, fourth time I, I was like, why do you like me? Why the fuck do you like me? Mm-hmm. I don't. Because I've told you. <laughs> oh my god, my son. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you like multiple times that I do not like you that way, mm-hmm. and for you to not wait on me. You're just playing hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> because it made no sense to me. <clears throat> uh huh. Because like we'd never talk. We'd never, you know, like if we did talk, it'd be like passing by. Like this was like a long distance oh. thing. Like he knew me because he knows my ex. Mm. when we were dating yeah so i'm guessing he liked me ever since me and my ex were dating 
Mm. Okay, and then we broke up, and then like he'll like say hi, like maybe once or twice within a year, like maybe like messaging me. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But then all of a sudden he's like in love with me, and I'm like, why are you in love with me? I don't talk to you. We've never talked about anything that I like or that you like. Nothing. It's nothing personal oh. that we've talked about. Oh, that's like a whole nother. You see what I'm saying? That's like mm-hmm. a whole nother topic to talk about because. Um, as a woman, if you're nice, like men mis- always mistake that. Yeah. As like you're flirting, flirting with me. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, I don't understand why you like me because we've never <laughs> talked about anything personal to each other. It was always just about like church, you know. So I don't understand why you're why you're so in love with me. And so finally, because he sent me like one last like message, because I'm guessing there was this girl that he was like gonna marry, but he was trying to like. Make sure that, like, with me, I thought oh, the chance. no, if not, then I'm gonna go marry this. Oh, girl. no, yeah, we need to tell you should have told that girl, girl, run. She, I think she knows me because, or she knows of me because every time we see each other in person, she kind of like gives me a bitchy vibe. Well, because she probably knows that yeah. that person was like, hey, before I go, you sure you don't want to give another shot? All, yeah. of, the, all of this. Yeah, like, girls, we know. Okay, we know, like, when another girl... Yeah, yeah. see, but then... Oh, man. But, yeah. And so, finally, he was like, um, Yeah, Musa, I like you so much. I think me and you will be so great together. Um, you know, I... I just want to know if this is something that I still need to pursue or if I should just move on. And I'm like, move on! <laughs> okay, and I told him, I was like... I was nice to you in the beginning when I rejected you multiple times, but now... You're getting bitchy, Melissa. And I told him, I was like, why the fuck do you like me? What's so great about me that you like? Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, the way you make me feel like this. You make me feel like this. You know? We don't even talk. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and I'm she like, doesn't even go here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so you like me because the way I make you feel. But you're not liking me from my actual attributes. You know, you're not saying like, oh, Melissa, you're kind hearted. Oh, Melissa, you, you're you listing all these things of me instead of you being selfish and saying stuff like how I make you feel. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. yes That's yes. how you can really gauge if they really like you, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And so I was so upset about that. And I, was, and I told him, I was like, dude, you don't like me. <laughs> you like the way that I make you feel. Okay, so, so therefore, therefore you, you don't, don't like me. me. Which I, again, I don't understand that. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, like, literally the average man does not understand the difference, though. This, yeah. That doesn't mean that she likes me back. It just means she's nice because yeah. she makes me feel good. That's it. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, like, being nice and being kind is two different things. Mm-hmm. Okay, and so, yeah, so a lot of people are like, oh, you're, you're, you're nice to me. And I'm like, well, I can be nice to everybody. So, <laughs> yeah. That's half the time it's fake <laughs> you know because <laughs> it's like just because it's like hurry get out of my face but anyway yeah but yeah and so he was just very hooked on and i'm just kind of like i hate it when people are like the way he makes me feel and i'm like with this girl i'm like i don't think that's your case mm-hmm. he's you like him because of um he makes you laugh he makes you laugh and that's kind of different and then also how she said that he makes her feel good Mm-hmm. Too. I think she said something like that, right? Like she, uh, she enjoys yeah. spending yeah. time yeah, she with him. Yeah, spending time with him. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Girl, you are in love. You really yeah, like, you really like this him. Dude. Yeah. You so really I would say, like him. go for it. Mm-hmm. Just have fun. You don't yeah. have to be serious. Just enjoy it and see where it goes. And the fact that they both have a mutual activity together that mm-hmm. they do already. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's even better. Okay. Panties mm-hmm. drop into the flow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they already have for her. Yeah. I forgot. And then one comment says, looks will fade, but the way someone makes you feel will last a lifetime. La- Ooh, <laughs> that was Southern. <laughs> a lifetime. Lifetime. <laughs> If he's good to you and makes you feel good about yourself inside and out, then who cares what other people think? Mm-hmm. Exactly. If you think that Amen. they're attractive, then that's the only opinion that matters. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Your girlfriends are just jealous. Listen, mm-hmm. listen, just girls, jealous. listen. Because it's like, what kind of friend are you? It's like, 
<clears throat> so the dude that your friend is talking to is not attractive in your eyes or what you thought <laughs> that she would like. So you're like, nah. That's what nah. I'm saying, that they're projecting whatever their insecurities or yeah, whatever they so just find conventionally like, attractive mm-hmm. onto them. It's kind of like, y'all need to reflect on yourselves. Shallow. Mm-hmm. In the shallow. <laughs> In the shallow. Oh, my God. I'm just, oh, damn, this is long. Baby. The next one? Yes. Whatever you want to do. This is from a male's perspective. <gasps> That's interesting. Let's do it. It's, it's hella long. Do oh, it. Co- a comment? Do no. It? No, a, this is a different story. Oh, okay, okay. A different, different topic. Advice. Okay. Needed. I'm ready. It's long. I don't know if Molly saw. But. Uh, I saw her scroll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. So the title is Women Only. I am so confused. Okay. Story goes. So I am looking for input from any women on here as to why one of you would do this. I don't think there is a single man who understands women enough to solve this mystery. Background. I, 31 male, have been with one woman. Me and my ex dated from the age of 13 to 21, joined the army at 17, got engaged, and I came home on leave from the army at 21. We were engaged until 26 when my active duty contract was over and we could get married and start a family like we had planned now that I wasn't deployed anymore. Instead, I came home to her pregnant with my best friend's kid. I promised myself that day that nothing like that was ever going to happen to me again and decided not to date again. It's been a little over five years now, and over the past year, it has started to get a lot lonelier than the first two years were. I tried online dating about two months ago, made an account on Tinder, Boo, Bumble, and a few others. I figured larger the audience, the higher the chance I had at finding the one, or whatever people want to call it. Each of those accounts lasted maybe four days before I deleted my accounts, and reinforced my decision to stay single despite wanting to be a husband and a father for literally my entire life. Situation. About a month ago, me and this woman got into a pretty long, uh, quote unquote, discussion on Facebook in a comment thread on a post about something that happened in our area. By the end of the discussion, she had said something along the lines of, quote unquote, Oh, you're so cute and funny after I made a joke. And I'm not going to lie. She is probably one of the most beautiful women I have ever seen. Some people might not think so, but there was just something about her eyes and smile. They made me melt. So when she said this, I figured I shoot my shot, despite my previous commitment to myself and the self-esteem issues I had been fighting since I was a very small child parentheses i hate the way that i look and sound and just the way i exist but i've had a lot of old little ladies call me a handsome young man lol (laughs) and then let's see he says i said something stupid along the lines of if she thinks that was funny she should see what kind of nonsense i'm capable over dinner she asked me to message her and i did She told me how she got out of a really abusive and traumatic relationship about a year before and wasn't ready to meet anyone, but we could talk. (coughs) So we did. Every day, all day, all night, during work, during school. Funny conversations, deep conversations, romantic conversations, texting, calling, video chat. She's the only, she's only a couple years younger than me. Never married, doesn't want any, doesn't have any kids although she wants both of those. So finally one day, she asked me why I haven't asked her out again. I was kind of caught off guard, and I told her that I thought she wasn't ready yet. Her response was, after all this conversation, that I should have known that she was ready. She said it playfully, but something was off about it. So I tried to save the situation and told her we could go out right now, give me an hour to get ready and put together a day plan, and I'd come pick her up on my motorcycle, which she said a few days prior that she's been, she's been dying to ride on. Mm-hmm. I get ready, I plan the date, pick her up, and we head out. She loves animals, especially aquatic life, so I take her to this awesome aquarium she hasn't been to that has a bunch of other stuff, and we spend a few hours there. 
About halfway through the aquarium, she is hanging on my arm, sneaking kisses on my cheek when I when I'm not looking, just being ridiculously cute. We have dinner at her favorite restaurant, which she had mentioned offhandedly to me like a month before. Went and got frozen yogurt, then went and got drinks. After drinks in the bar, she asked to go out to my bike and smoke the infused pre pre roll. Oh. Smoked in pre, sorry, <laughs> smoked the infused pre roll I bought for us. She asks me sit on my motorcycle and she climbs on top of me, straddling my lap. We smoke and then we end up sitting there for a couple hours, talking, kissing, laughing, staring at each other, her telling me how sexy I am, how I'm like the perfect guy, and how she's never met anyone so amazing and so nice and respectful. How it's all. How it's going to be awesome to do things like this together all the time. Long story short, we have an amazing night. Both of us didn't stop laughing or smiling the entire night. It was like magic, like those fairy tale dates that everyone knows doesn't happen. Like the air around us was physically charged with our chemistry. It was crazy. I was blown away by this goddess. Oh, I was blown away by, I was blown away that this goddess was actually really into me. There were even an older couple at the bar who said that we looked cute together, and this girl lit up. So it gets late. I take her home, give her a huge hug. Thank you for the amazing night. We kiss in front of her door for a few minutes, and she says how she wants me to come in so bad, but that she wants to wait. And I said it was perfectly fine. I wasn't expecting that anyway, and that I completely agreed. That if I was going to sleep with anyone again, it would definitely be her. But that we should definitely go on at least a couple more dates. And again, she lit up. Practically jumped into my arms and kissed me, telling me that I'm perfect. I leave, get home, text her, and tell her that I made it home because it was like a 40-minute motorcycle ride from her place, and it was like 4 a.m. and I had been up for 22 hours at this point. We video chat for a few minutes, telling each other good night and whatnot, and we go to sleep. I wake up later that morning and go message her, and to find that she had blocked me on everything—Facebook, Snapchat, phone number, even the TikTok that she convinced me to make, so I could see videos she always sent me. What happened? What did I do wrong? I know we only talked for a month and only met once. But I really felt like this girl was special, and every part of me wanted to be the guy that made her feel special every day. I know I don't have a lot of experience with this, but it doesn't make sense to me. And even though she was still practically a stranger, seeing that she had blocked me tore a hole through my chest. That is the end. Poor guy. <laughs> Go ahead, Mama. <laughs> Go ahead, Ma. <laughs> My first thought is that she really wasn't out of that abusive relationship yet. I think that, like I said, I think she was still trying to get away from that abuser, but she's not quite a hundred percent out. Therefore, she probably blocked him because the abuser found out. And I guess to either be safe or protect him, she blocked blocked him and stuff like that.、Mm-hmm. Because I mean, I'm kind of like him too. It's like I'm confused. It's like what, <laughs> what just happened?、Mm-hmm. You know, I mean,、mm-hmm. you know, there that's a possibility. There's also a possibility where she's just kind of like some, you know, psycho chick who enjoys doing. St- This, these kind of things to men, as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's just me looking at it from like a like a really bad bad side. So I don't know what you guys think. Anna, Molly, <laughs> Molly. I don't know. She kind of said it already. Oh, that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> Coming from someone who's had plenty of trauma and and experienced. Um, watching as a bystander for dom-、uh, domestic violence, intimate partner violence, and all that stuff. The only thing I think of is that if she did get in, out of that relationship, because I thought it was weird that she kept saying, "You're so sexy. You're like, 
you're like someone I want to be around. I don't think that she is really ready for that. I If she is out of the relationship, if we take her word for it, I think probably what happened was that she probably did not think that, well, I think she probably like didn't think that, yeah, he would call her bluff and say like, why didn't you ask me out? And he actually did. And then she didn't know what to do with herself. So the only thing I can think of is that she still needs to go through her baggage. Mm. And she hasn't done that. And she might have probably doubted herself and she She blocked him. She scared herself She spooked herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking probably happened. And it really sucks because it sounds like he's pretty direct. And he's not, from what little he said, he's not trying to like, do anything Mm -hmm. and even the way that he words things because i was waiting there me and my toxic self (laughs) i was waiting for him to be like i'm a nice guy Mm. that's a red flag Mm -hmm. saying that Mm -hmm. so i think if anything she just hasn't gone through her stuff and she spooked herself and this is the only way that she knows what to do because she probably is still stuck in the whole abusive mentality where Mm -hmm. or where like she probably believed all the things that her, you know, abuser did to her and made her think. And so she probably got stuck in that because mm-hmm. it's only been a year. You don't heal in from abuse in a year. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's an on. It's like a lifetime thing. Like you're ongoing mm-hmm. and healing through that. So mm-hmm. that's my take on it is that it sucks that she did that to him. Mm-hmm. But it's I can also see that. She probably self sabotaged then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, her coming from uh, an abusive relationship says a lot about her disappearing and blocking him on every platform. Mm-hmm. Because there's like there's I I don't see any other reason besides her spooking herself. I mean, she uh, it obviously sounded like she enjoyed the date, enjoyed being in his presence and stuff like that, you know. But, yeah, like Anna said, she probably just spooked herself and kind of just, in a way to protect herself, she spooks herself and, like, blocks him on, blocks him on all platforms. I mean, who knows? She might be, like, even thinking to herself, like, oh, watch, he's not really who he really is. You know, he she might... Be, you know, thinking like, oh, this is not, this is him just pretending this is how my relationship was. So I'm going to stop it before I get hurt. Mm -hmm. So we don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like just playing. If she was true to her word. Yeah. But if not, then there are people out there that are just mean and manipulative and like to get that, do that stuff. Get off on doing that. Yeah. So I don't know. I like to think my first option, like I said. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah, and I feel bad for the guy because he said, like he he had said, he's only been with one woman. He has no experience otherwise. So I get why he would get on Reddit and like ask <laughs> women mm-hmm. for their opinions and their thoughts on it because, mm-hmm. yeah, he literally does not know any better. That was wise what he said, though. He said, I know no man is wise enough to know why women would do this. So <laughs> I'm going to ask women. Okay. What do um, the comments say? Let's see here. The first comment says, I am a woman. I am both perplexed and hurt for you. Angry mm-hmm. even. Mm-hmm. You deserve some explanation for the pain you're feeling. And don't let anyone minimize how you feel mm-hmm. by saying it was just one month or it was just one date. Mm-mm. If that was all relationships consisted of and no other factors played a part, we would not have relationships, um, subs, movies, therapy, etc. Everywhere we everywhere we looked. Sorry. What, sorry. <sighs> what I mean by other factors is, for example, the time we spent subconsciously thinking about them when we aren't interacting and how our hopes adds to to the feelings surrounding a new love, love interest, all for which helps to integrate the person into our overall reality, even if we speak once a day or just text. Chemicals are affected, your feelings are valid, and any advice you get should come with a statement of commiseration? 
Commiseration. And, yeah, mm-hmm. commiseration and acknowledgement that is effing hard. Mm. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I feel like me personally, like reading through this, like I get it that you came, that she came from a like traumatic and toxic mm-hmm. environment. I'm not shitting on those people like that, but sometimes they play that as that's their personality. That's mm-hmm. me. Take it or leave it kind mm-hmm. of thing. Like they kind of play into it and i feel like sometimes they they do it for fun i don't know like to me Attention. like if it was like because he kind of reminds me of me a little bit where i am not very experienced either but for somebody to love bomb me so fast on a first date mm-hmm. to me that's a red flag yeah because i'll be like okay why are we kissing mm-hmm. why are you why are you doing this to me mm-hmm. why are you straddling me mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, so to mm-hmm. me, that's a red flag to me. So to mm-hmm. me, it's me looking at it. You were doing it either one for fun because you were probably bored or whatever. And maybe you were. It was true what you guys said. Maybe she really was. Um, she she really did get scared, mm-hmm. you know, and that's why she blocked him. <laughs> but for me, looking at it and my trauma, I'm seeing it as. Um. You played with me just because you wanted to play, and then you bounced. Mm -hmm. When I didn't give you the D, you bounced. Kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm seeing it, at least. Yeah. You know? So, I don't know. I don't know why that girl did did that to you, sir. That was, um, it's shitty. It really is shitty. Yeah, that was really shitty of her. She did was hurtful. And mm-hmm. there's no excuse. Mm-mm. But, yeah, I think, like, from coming from someone that's been stuck in that mindset mm-hmm. of a lot of trauma, I, the only thing I can think of is that, like, when you're in that mindset, you're, you're not very, you're not thinking clearly. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, yeah. yeah, so, like, for me, again, me seeing from his eyes, it's very selfish mm-hmm. of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and so me thinking, I'm like, maybe she didn't really like me. I think she mm-hmm. was just liking the attention that I'm giving her. Mm-hmm. And that other people were giving them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With all the compliments. And then whenever maybe I didn't get the D, then I'm like, okay, no, I'm done. Or maybe yeah. she was just like, okay, yeah, no. Yeah, my fun's done. My, yeah, I'm done with him. Mm-hmm. Kind of thing. So, I mean, I don't know. Because there are girls like that. Yeah. yeah. They're out there. You know, when toxicity and trauma is all that they know and they choose not to heal and work with themselves yeah you know so i don't know i don't know why she did it sir it could go either way my way your your guys's way or, i don't know yeah or or both i don't know yeah yeah because maybe a part of her did feel like she don't have doesn't have enough attention or affection mm-hmm. and then she also feels bad about it too sometimes you just really don't know until you ask that person or even that person doesn't know why they did yeah. it too. You know, but all I know at the end of it, sir, you did the right thing. Yeah. You were really gentlemanly towards her. You mm-hmm. you did the right thing. Okay. Yeah. And so if anything that you come out from the situation, it's not you. It's not. Oh yeah, definitely it is not, not you. you. It's okay. not you. But also don't let this experience stop you from still trying to find somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's what you wanted was to basically, you know, start a family and, you know, um, find your person. So. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. so we hope you have um, some good luck with other people. Don't let it stop you because, again, you were a pretty decent dude. Nice dude, honestly. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you guys want to do one more? It's up to you, baby girl. Let's do this one. Oh, this one's a a short one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the title says, Guy slept over but didn't make any moves. Okay, the situation. This is a second date at my place. Just watched movies until like 3 a.m. He just slept on the couch and I went to my room. We sat close to each other after a bit. We already talked about what we wanted and we're both not really looking for anything long term. 
I'm used to different kind of guys who try to sleep with you within the first 10 minutes. So I wanted to ask y'all's opinion. Wait, w what's the so opinion? She, he didn't want to sleep with her and she's asking why? I'm guessing so. Like, he slept over, but he didn't make any moves. Like, why? Even though we've already talked oh. what we wanted and we're both not looking for anything long term. So why is he, I'm guessing, not... Sleeping with Sleeping her? with me, I oh, guess. Oh, baby girl. That's what I'm getting. This He's not that like. into you. <laughs> you not? Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, like, you don't always have to sleep t together when you're with each other, too. Right. So, just for the benefit of the doubt, baby girl, why? I don't know what you're expecting. Yeah, yeah I was like, I what are you wanting? Yeah, I'm not, I don't understand because you got, she said we both. We already talked about what we wanted, and we both are not really looking for anything long term. So she just wants uh, a fuck buddy. Yeah. So I'm like, so then why didn't you just say that I just want to fuck? Because mm -hmm. some girls don't want to be. They want to play hard to get kind of thing. Then don't get mad when I don't come <laughs> to your room. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's like one of those slow burn guys, you know? I don't know. Or maybe, like I said, just because you hang out with each other, it doesn't, and it's not a serious thing, doesn't mean that you have to fuck every time you're with each other, too. That's true. Right. So Sometimes maybe you just enjoy just, the company. Yeah, maybe he's just being a decent human being and didn't right, want to sleep with too. you. Because, like, as much as us women don't feel the urge to want to have sexual intimacy with a man, sometimes a man literally can physically not get it up. You know, maybe because they're not in the mood. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's like, girl, if you want that dick, you should have <laughs> you should have hopped on him. That's what I'm saying. said something. Or, like, you should have said something. <laughs> maybe Otherwise, he's the type of guy who has, you have to tell him. You know, there's some people who... There's not enough information here for yeah, us to go yeah. on. <laughs> he could be at the type to where you have to tell him or he'll obviously don't know what you're talking about, you know? Men are very direct when they communicate, yeah. though. Yeah. So if all she basically said was, I'm not looking for anything serious, and that's it. You should have been like, and I want vitamin D only when you're here. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. End of story. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand it. That's such just a, sounds like a young person. That sounds yeah. like a very typical woman post. <laughs> very vague and yes. not no no details or anything. It's kind of like, okay, what do you want us to say? What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> if I was a dude, what do you want me to do? Yeah, I feel like. I feel like this is nothing on the dude. Like, the dude no. is, he did the right thing. Sleep on the couch because. And I find that very respectful because you don't yeah. have to be serious to be like. Mm -hmm. To respect respect that person enough to not jump on them. That's because it's like invading your own like your personal boundary. Like you, you gotta know when to read the room. You went to your room. You shut the door, girl. What expect? What you expect? <laughs> you didn't come out and be like, "I naked, come here." <laughs> no, you did it. You literally probably shut the door, and he was like, "Oh, it's time to go to bed." How direct uh. is that? I stick with what I said. He's probably just not that into her. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, that's that probably too. Because what? Of that's, course. She said just twice, right? That second? Yeah, oh, she said the second, the second date at my place. Just watch movies. Oh, the second day. Yeah. Yeah. He slept on the couch and I went to my room. Oh, why did you think sat, it was the first time? We sat close to each other after a bit. Go find another one. And then we've already talked about what we wanted and we both are not looking for anything long term. I'm used to a different. I'm used to different kind of guys who try to sleep with you within the first ten minutes. So I wanted to ask y'all's opinion. Oh, well, either way, that guy. Uh, just go find another one. <laughs> just go find just another go. one. Either that or just be freaking direct. That too. Like, be like you, you come here. <laughs> if you want me to fuck you, then tell me you want me to fuck you. No, be like, hey, come here, sit down, so I can suck you off. Yeah. <laughs> be just be direct. Be very direct. Men like that. Yeah. <laughs> Even like Kevin, come here, come here. Come here, 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 come here. Okay, what what did the comment say? It says the first comment says, "Did you invite him back to your room? Were you leaning into him? 
Were you kissing, cuddling? Yeah. It's true. It sounds like you weren't giving him any signals, mm-hmm. invitations, and mm-hmm. he was being respectful. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. That like, mm-hmm. I'm he, he was probably like, well, uh, she shut the door. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I guess she just wanted my, my company. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't, like, if I was a dude, I wouldn't have even slept on the couch. I'd be like, okay, bye. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not sleeping like, on the couch. Out. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. But, yeah, that's what that first comment said. And then. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's like, it didn't sound like you guys kissed or. This this comment says, for fuck's sake, if a guy is at your place, he already thinks you're worth his time. Stop overthinking and just put your legs in his lap next time. (laughs) Yeah. I wonder if that was a guy <laughs> saying that. I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of true. Like I said, just be straight up. If you want to fuck, just say you want to fuck. <laughs> Me want that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, guys love it when you're direct. And, like, especially if you're, like, sitting on the couch watching TV. And if your kitty is wanting his um, his dicky, then you get up and you straddle him and you start making out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think mama wanted it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then another, I'm guessing this is a dude. He says, yeah, I'm the same as Liz. A girl can invite me over, but unless she gives me a clear signal, yeah. I won't go for it. I'd rather walk out of there having a great conversation than make a move at the wrong time and get mm-hmm. rejected. Mm-hmm. Then it's going to get awkward. Yes. Invite him over t- again tonight and make a small move. Maybe touch his leg. Get close to him. I don't know. Really just about anything that involves physical contact. <laughs> it's like god girl she's like go nibble really go nibble his ear or something still, she sounds really young though for real though yeah, yeah. to think like that <laughs> so i don't Me know want it. come here come here come here come here <laughs> come here come here come, come, here, come, here, come, here, come here come here i mean like it doesn't have to be anything like sexual no like, it's like not. okay so okay so i'm a shy girl too girl okay girl i'm a shy girl too but, but like, like, I don't have to sit there and like grab at his leg. No. no. Or, or like, like, you can be very playful, or you can like get really, really close to him, or mm-hmm. you can like, I don't know, move something out of his, in his hair, or blow in his ear. Something like that. <laughs> that's expert level. <laughs> you know, <laughs> can't do that. She's shy. Remember, expert. Yeah. That's expert. But level. at least you're, you're not touching him with yeah, your lips. Or like, find an excuse to like touch him, like his <laughs> hand or like something. You know, I'm some sorry. type of physical when contact. When you said to blow in his ear, I just thought of. So- things that could go wrong for melissa <laughs> and i would be like oh, if she <laughs> no you thought that I'm, not, I'm thinking like you blow in the ear and he gets, catches a whiff of your breath and be like we shouldn't have had that till you have for dinner <laughs> and you're like <sighs> and you're like <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's too much garlic <laughs> yeah that's what I'm yeah, that's why I'm like i just think it doesn't have to be so sexual no it can be you know simple physical contact yeah yeah just be like <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> you know find an excuse to touch him or something to get close to him yeah <laughs> sorry we're just using molly i know <laughs> like, i saw no. her being annoyed so i was like it's my turn <laughs> uh, i don't know or like if something's on his face even though there's not something on his face you know make an excuse and be like, oh, yeah, you have something on your face. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, That's it doesn't right. have to be. Yeah. So if you're sexual. a shy girly like her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like. <laughs> like that. You'd be like. <laughs> 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 That's what I was imagining, too. That's what I was imagining what Alyssa would do. <laughs> <laughs> or like, <laughs> I think she'll just be like, <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, me and Michelle are the more direct. I would be like, "Hey," I would yep. be like this. I like the. I would be like all like this. The rubbing. Yeah, I would be like this. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> listen, be like, <laughs> no, <laughs> nope. Whatever I suggested is what I would do. <laughs> blowing, blowing his hair. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> You just sound like the sprinkler, you know that. <laughs> That's what Liz was saying earlier that she yeah. would do. <laughs> <laughs> like on accident, I get too excited, and like, <laughs> or be like, <laughs> 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 no air comes out. We just hear, <laughs> 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 and the guy would be.
be like, are you okay? There's <laughs> 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 something in my throat. <clears> throat> <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> She'll be like, I tried to sing in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> warming up my voice <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's too funny let's read one more comment oh let's see gosh. what they say oh comment <laughs> <clears throat> yeah it says i get shy too i do this new thing where when we first sit down on the couch, I make sure to sit like right in the middle so that when he sits, we're really we're already close, <laughs> touching leg to leg. Oh, yep, that's true. Yeah, usually this is an easy segue into the guy putting his arm around you, and it kind of escalates from there. A shy dude once didn't put his arm around me, and I put it around me for him. Oh, <laughs> Aww. that gave him enough of a sign to start small and hold and holding my hand Aww. with his free hand. So and then cute. tracing the circles of on my, I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> and holding my hand with his free hand and tracing circles on my forearm. This is probably terrible, <laughs> but before I had the courage, it takes, uh, before I had the courage to make these signals, I just get buzzed before they came over. Yep. <laughs> and it relaxes me enough to be braver. <laughs> I know my limits of alcohol and I know, um, I know I was still very capable of decision making with a small buzz. Oh, yeah. that's very intimate to touch on the forearm like that. That's yeah. like, that's like you want this puss. <laughs> you mm-hmm. want this more mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You want the kitty kitty. Yeah, if you need a little alcohol too. <laughs> yeah. Are you comfortable? Cool. Ooh, that's fine with that. That reminds you. me of that video where <laughs> the girl was supposed to go on a date. It's, but she uh. was too many shots in. <laughs> 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 and she's like, I don't know if I can go meet my date. <laughs> But yeah, I rem- <laughs> that's all I I'm trying to imagine Liz getting ready for a date, drink, and uh, getting buzzed, and she goes, "Why do <laughs> I not feel it yet?" <laughs> yeah. And then she'd be like, like, "Oh, oh no, yeah, help me! <laughs> I, I need to sober up in 30 minutes." I feel like we get really red, <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, "I'll be really, really red when I meet you." <laughs> she be like. <laughs> 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 but it's true though like if i don't like you then i'm not gonna touch you yeah you know let's be honest here like like say if let's say if molly's a dude and i'm not really into him i would not like fix the hair out of your face or something i would be like hey you got something <laughs> i didn't have them do it you hear like, that you if she oh. doesn't like you <laughs> she gonna say fix it yourself <laughs> But, like, if I generally want to touch you and I want you to know that I want you to touch me, too, mm-hmm. I probably will touch you. It's like body language. Yeah. You got some, body language. You got some on your mouth. Go wi- wipe it. Mm-hmm. Wipe it yourself. Here's a napkin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here. You got something on yourself. Go yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh. But, yeah. But, well, that's all the time we have for this episode. It was a fun episode. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be spitting in people's ear, y'all. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, but Unless they like that. <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if blowing in the air is a thing anymore. That's what we what we did back back then. But yeah, I don't know. I really don't. But um, y'all be safe out there. Wear condoms, okay? Be safe. Responsible. Be safe, responsible. Um, and have fun. Have fun with everything, okay? Um, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.